92.9 The Lake playing the greatest hits of all time. Like we've been saying, we are joined by Mayor Nick Hunter and Corey Williams from the SBA. Mayor Hunter, thank you for your time. Appreciate you coming in. Know you're a busy guy. Oh, thank you, man. Well, this is an important topic. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, most definitely. Before we start, I'd be remiss if I didn't say this. Your leadership during this time has been tremendous. Thank you, man. That means a lot. And, that's, that. and we needed strong leadership because right after Laura, Delta came spirit of Southwest Louisiana could have been broken, but with your leadership, you know, your strength, people fed off of that. So thank you so much. Well, I appreciate that, but I want to say it's really a team effort. It's everybody working together and look, Lake Charles is the biggest city in Calcasieu Parish, but I've also got to give a lot of kudos to the other mayors of the small, smaller cities, police jury, the sheriff's department. I mean, it's just everybody working together, but thank you. Right on. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about SBA and the possibility for loans for businesses, nonprofits, for residents, stuff like that. You being a business owner yourself, you know the importance of what's going on right now. I do, and I'll tell you a little personal story. When uh, Hurricane Rita hit in 2005, gosh, I was 21, <laughs> 21 years old, yeah. had just uh, relocated the, the family restaurant, was into it for about a year, didn't really know what I was doing. And, you know, I was, I was woefully underinsured back then. And uh, without the SBA, I don't think I would have survived. And so I took out an SBA loan uh, after Rita, was able to pay it off, uh, did, did my, my civic duty, and, uh, and paid that loan off so that other people could borrow some more money. And here we are today, uh, 15 years later, and I'm talking to people about the SBA yet again and I tell you, I, I'm a fan of what they're doing. Uh, and it's not only, you know, the Small Business Administration has the word business in it. But don't only think about businesses. It's also for homeowners and renters. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of us, and, and I'll, I'll give you another personal story myself, a lot of us are getting some, some pretty rude awakenings as to what those insurance policies say. And when I talked to my agent and he told me what my hurricane deductible was, I almost uh, fell on the floor. <laughs> so even if people have insurance, to, to cover that deductible, the SBA can be there for them. And, and, and look, you can apply, you can get approved, and don't take the money unless you actually need it. Mm -hmm. but, but the clock is ticking right now on the, the time, the window of time to where you can apply for Hurricane Laura. So I'm so happy we're talking about this today, and it is essential that locals take advantage of this program. Um, we need as, as, as much capital and as much help as we can get here in southwest Louisiana so I am imploring people, if they're listening to this, if you haven't checked out the SBA yet, please do it. Right. And again, thank you for being a great advocate for our community, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. All right. From the SBA, Mr. Corey Williams to the mic. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on the show this hey, no morning. No problem, man. We appreciate your time. So the SBA has released over $300 million in loans here in Louisiana. That is absolutely incredible. But you guys aren't done. No, we're never done. You know, the one thing with disaster assistance that we want to make sure is that as a federal government, we stand behind you and our partners um, with FEMA, as well as uh, my agency, the U.S. Small Business Administration's Office of Disaster Assistance. And we're about to cover a lot of information. And before we get to that, I want to say to the listeners who are listening right now, look, you don't have to remember all of it. We're recording this. We're going to put all the information Plus this interview on our website, 929thelake.com, and on our free mobile app. So you can go back, you can listen to it, you can break it down. You can also get all the pertinent links and information on the story as well. So you guys just set up a business recovery center here in Lake Charles. Yes, sir. Yeah. So at the Seed Center um, off of Ryan Street on the campus of McNeese State University, we have a business recovery center. Now, it's by appointment only. But for businesses of all sizes and nonprofits that may have been impacted by not only Hurricane Laura, but also Hurricane Delta, are welcome to call and make an appointment. And we have three of our, our great customer service representatives there to help them out, whether it's assisting with their loan closing documents, um, receiving any other additional documentation, or just, just asking general questions about the process in regard to Hurricane Laura, Hurricane Delta, and then we're also still dealing with the COVID environment as well. Yeah, most definitely. To get that appointment, you can call 337-433-3632. And again, that's at the Seed Center, 4310 Ryan Street here in Lake Charles. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 3. Now, I got to tell you, you're called the Small Business Administration, but like we said earlier with the mayor, uh, renters, homeowners, 
they can apply as well. Yes, they can. And a lot of um, homeowners and renters, especially in Calcasieu Parish in southwest Louisiana, whenever they um, get the referral to SBA, they always, why am I applying for it? I don't have a business. Well, in times of disaster, the U.S. Small Business Administration helps out homeowners and renters. Homeowners can borrow up to 200000 for repair and replacement of their disaster damaged real estate and up to $40,000 to repair and replace their disaster damaged personal property, which would also include their vehicles that may have been damaged as a result of Hurricane Laura or Hurricane Delta. And that interest rate for homeowners is as low as 1.188%. And then for renters, renters can actually borrow up to $40,000 to repair, replace their personal property, which would include any um, vehicles as well. And again, interest rates are as low as 1.188%, and it's amortized up to 30 years. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. I got to tell you, Corey, I just went through this process myself. And you guys make it so painless. You know, talking with uh, Sadiq uh, was my guy. Ah. And um, over in Texas. And I tell you what, he made it so painless. And the guy, I don't know how many other people he's talking with, but he was called me back several times a day. Hey, can you send me this? Hey, I just want to let you know where I'm at in the process. You know, and also with the home inspector, that was painless as well. So you guys make it really, really easy for homeowners and renters. And I appreciate that. Well, we thank you very much. We have a great team at our Processing Disbursement Center in Fort Worth, Texas, as well as our loss verifiers, um, our customer service representatives who are taking care of the applicants at the Seed Center. And we actually have a team of customer service representatives that are in the field right now um, doing business-to-business outreach. So you may see some blue shirts throughout the community. Mm -hmm. So we just want to let you know that we're doing everything we can to get the word out, not only for Hurricane Laura, but also for Hurricane Delta. And especially dealing with this COVID environment is so important that to emphasize for the businesses, the need for economic injury disaster loans. So the one thing is, is that not only were we already dealing with COVID, but now hurricane Laura, and then now six weeks later, hurricane Delta hits the most important thing for a business owner to continue their continuity of operations is to have working capital during this disaster to pay their employees, to pay their mortgage, to pay their utilities, keep their business operational during this recovery period. And that's the purpose of the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, to give working capital funds to not only the businesses of all sizes, but the private nonprofits as well. And the business loan interest rates are as low as 3%. um, And then for nonprofits, it's fixed at 2.75%. Again, um, business owners and nonprofits can borrow up to $2 million dollars um, and then also, like I said, for the homeowners and renters, you know, it's a great program as well. Right. And if you can't make it to the Seed Center to do an in-person interview, of course, they can always go to the website and apply online. That's correct. So you can go to disasterloanassistance.sba.gov. Let me repeat that. Disasterloanassistance.sba.gov. Or you can call our customer service center number, which is one 800 659 2955 again 1800 659 2955 right and the deadline to apply for property damage is the 27th right that's correct the so the deadline to apply so since we do have two active presidential declarations from president trump um, so for hurricane laura the deadline is october 27th now for the economic injury deadline The key thing to keep in mind is that we understand as a federal agency that businesses need to have that working capital. So that's actually a nine month deadline for the economic injury deadline for Hurricane Laura. Um, For Hurricane Delta, the physical um, physical deadline is actually December 15th, 2020. And again, the business owners who were impacted as well by Hurricane Delta would have a nine month deadline to apply for the economic injury disaster loan. Awesome. Awesome information. Guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Again, if you're just joining us, we talked with Mayor Hunter. We talked with Corey from the SBA. Lots of information on how, uh, if you're a business owner or if you're a homeowner or a renter, how you can apply for an SBA loan. All that information is going to be at our website, 929thelake.com, or you can pull it up on our free mobile app. We have this interview taped as well as the links and information that you will need. You can go back. You can listen to it later. So check it out, 929thelake.com, or you can pull it up on our free mobile app. Mr. Williams, Mayor Hunter, thank you so much for your time, guys. Really great talking to you, and thank you for the good work that you're doing for Southwest Louisiana. Thank you very much for having us on.